we're back. Today we're going to do a simple tutorial. It's a Wolf in the Moon monotone color. Um, it's been requested to paint in a bag. So I found one sling bag in Hobby Lobby and we are going to paint it with a Wolf in the Moon. Hope you enjoy this. Right, I found this sling bag. It's a fabric canvas. Um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. I think Michaels has this one as well. Mm, it's really nice. They also have the regular canvas color, but I decided to get the black one. So we're going to paint a wolf uh, with the background of a moon. The color is like a monotone, but the blue will kind of just give a hint. And also the pale green. Uh, we need a titanium white and blue gray and I think those are the colors that we have to use. Um, if you want to use a different color you may. So uh, first we have to decide which section we want our wolf. So I'm using a detailed brush and a square brush and a round brush for this tutorial. Mm, just sketch uh, a tiny hint of white as your sketch. You can use your chalk as well if you want and then just sketch your wolf in the boulder and then your moon background so since our black canvas sling bag is um, very absorbing our paint this is going to be layered a lot so if you want the fabric itself to be smooth I suggest you can gesso it with black gesso so it doesn't really absorb a lot of um, the paint um, in this tutorial you can see how many layers I've tried just to get the wolf popping in the black canvas I always say that if you are not comfortable again with freehand drone, um, get you a reference photo, um, practice drawing first before sketching your canvas or you can trace it. Um, I suggest you go ahead and practice if you're really into painting or drawing and it will help you. So this one I'm using the gray blue gray for the moon itself the huge moon mixed with the turquoise a little bit just to have a um a little bit mix of the color if you don't have blue gray paint you can use a regular titanium white mixed with black pretty much just create a gray and then add a hint of a whatever blue you have and try to use one dark one light and just keep mixing them to portray your moon background and as you can see I have a lot of layer in there lots of layer when I try to um, paint a fabric or a bag or a canvas bag I tried to paint before as well um, I usually paint a gesso first but this time um, I didn't so it was a wrong move on my part because it really absorbed a lot of paint and also our boulder um, it's about kind of the same color that we use for the moon but try to kind of play with your shadowing as well um, this is gonna be layer layer again every time I say layer layer to make your painting looks better since this is like a monotone effect it's really hard to uh, play with the shadowing and all that stuff so just keep trying um, I really recommend for you to guess all 
your sling bag or any kind of bag that you're trying to use. Um, I'm trying to put the lighter color in my moon this time. So just adding regular titanium white. Um, the background itself is not dry. It's still wet so it's easier to kind of blend. So just keep adding colors. Um, dark, light, dark, light. That's all you can do and step back and look at it. your moon. If it looks like a moon, if it needs to be darkened a little bit, add another um, darker color and if it needs to be lightened a little bit uh, the light color so it's pretty much a trial and error until it looks like a moon so, and layer 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 because it absorb a lot <laughs> and try to um, also go back to the places that's a little bit dry don't just stay in one place and keep working on it unless you want to blow dry it that will also speed up the process so I have to layer multiple times on the three subject which is the moon the wolf and the boulder pretty much all the same color so let's a little bit highlight or detailed on our wolf itself. So I decided to use a blue wolf, I mean white, bluish, grayish wolf. So if you want to use a black wolf, that will probably work as well. Just make sure you add the hair in the chest area so it really have a highlight a little bit and outline a little bit especially also in the tail um, do those hair if you decide to do the black um, don't just leave it blank because your canvas is black already I uh, would suggest to paint black if you want a black wolf so another layer in this time again more on the titanium white side so it pops the the wolf itself okay the inner part or the center part of the wolf i added a darker color to kind of portray a shadowing a little bit but the edges of it it's still the titanium white then i went back to the moon and try to highlight a little bit on the edges um, also try not to really make the edges really harsh we don't want that um, outcome um, also blending here and there as you can see I keep going back and forth with the moon the wolf adding highlight here adding dark side here so it's pretty much just the same process keep going back adding highlights adding dark adding more details this is for beginners only mm. you can do as much details that you want if you like um, I really tried to layer as much as I can um, highlight as much as I can and add more addition to make it more realistic it's up to you what what you want to do but um, this is for beginner again this is pretty much just blending highlighting layering um, this particular tutorial so that's nothing you know complicated or it's very simple um, you can do it if you want to try uh, you can use your finger you can use um just to how to blend it a pro you probably could also use a sponge if you like um, don't forget to really add those details especially on the highlight on the boulder since the moon is shining in that section
Okay, let's go ahead and try to add some of the background, say um, the sky, maybe a little bit of clouds, same color that we use on the moon and the wolf, uh, mainly blue-gray. So it's up to you if you want to really cover the whole entire canvas. Um, some of it, as you can see, it's like just the surface are painted. See, some are a lot and some are just like on the surface. Uh, that's the one I want, the effect of it. Um, I really didn't want to make it like really thick. So it's like uh, a smoky kind of background. And then you can blow dry it. Uh, check out the inside if it bleeds. I don't think it bleeds. It worked really well. So that is it. A very simple wolf with the full moon background. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um, you can use it for personal or give it as a gift. Um, you can use a sp spray varnish for this one. It's easier to varnish this one so it doesn't crack the paint on the fabric. Um, I use some of the other fabric painting and the varnish spray works well. So thank you again for joining me and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have comment, comment down below. See you again next time.